Um, it's Yori Casper. Um, I'm finally making a tutorial again. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a pie slice. Um, I'm going to do two different kinds, um, blueberry and um, chocolate pie. Um, so the things that you're going to need, you're going to need some white clay, some gold clay, or you can use tan, brown, any kind of color that would be like a pie crust, um, some brown, um, some, well, two, two shades of blue, really, um, a, dark, a darker blue and a lighter blue, and then you're going to need a blade and um, a ruler. Or a pasta machine, either one. Um, okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna have to do is I'm gonna make the um, chocolate pie first. Um, this is like a chocolate pudding pie. Um, my family makes this pie like for every single occasion, so um, yeah. And it's really easy. You can do whatever really whatever color you want. If you wanted to make it like a key lime pie, you could do it with green instead of brown. But anyway. Um, okay, so I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to condition it. I don't want it super, super soft because then it will be hard to work with. But, you know, you want it easy to, you know, easy to form. Okay, and so now I'm going to roll it into a ball. And I'm going to shape um, this into a triangle. So I'm just going to like pinch the top and squish down the bottom. So it will come to a point. I'm going to flatten it out like this. What you could do if you wanted to go through a lot of trouble, you could make a whole pie and then slice off a slice. but. To be honest with you, I don't really know, I'm not really good at making a whole pie right now, so that's why I'm doing only the slices. You want your um, sides to be like flat, and to make it even look even nicer, I'm going to take my blade and I'm going to trim off the edges so that the um, triangle is sharper. And press that down a little bit. I want it to kind of look like it's just been cut. So there. Now the the sides are really nice and smooth. I'm gonna have that part now. <laughs> this part's gonna be a little bit um, harder to work with, but. Um, you're going to take your whatever brown, tan, gold, I'm using gold clay for your crust. And probably, most likely a pasta machine would be ideal for this because you're going to have to get it very thin. But for me, my pasta machine is kind of um, in a place where I don't really feel like digging it out right now. <laughs> it's like under a bunch of stuff, so I'm just going to use my roller. And plus, not everybody um, owns a POS machine, so this would be good for people who only use rollers. Um, so anyway, um, gold is really hard to condition to get soft. It's very stiff. This is Sculpey. Um, so yeah, so it might take a couple of tries to roll it out, but I'm going to roll it into a ball, and then I'm going to take my um, roller and roll it out very thin. I mean, you don't want it super thin, like, you don't want it paper thin, but you're going to want it thin so that, you know, it can fit on the piece. Okay, so now I here I have my sheet of gold, and I'm going to take my little brown triangle that I just did. I'm going to set it on top, and I'm just going to cut off all of this excess. You want to leave... about that much around your um, triangle. Sorry. 
Um, so now I'm going to cut it down to size. I'm just going to cut it along the triangle. And just trim it off. I'm going to leave the back a little bit long so that I can um, fold it up over. But I'm just going to square it off. So, And then I'm going to cut this little piece off in the front because I don't want you know, that little point sticking out. So anyway, I'm just going to push it down so that it will adhere. And now, I'm just going to fold the back up and see how it's a little bit too, you have a little bit of excess. You can just go ahead and cut that right off. And you're going to want to make sure that your um, top piece sticks to your um, crust. So kind of just like, you know, press them onto each other. Press it down. So. So yeah, now you have that little thing going on. Oops. Okay, and then so going to take your white and this pie has chocolate pudding with um, graham cracker crust and um, whipped topping <coughs> excuse me it's very easy to make so like if you want to make it in real life it's very easy to do